a megometer, commonly known as an insulation tester, is used for checking insulation resistance and continuity. In this section, we are going to see various types of insulation testers, parts of the insulation tester, ranges of the magneto generator type insulation tester, constructional features of a transistorized insulation tester, safety precautions to be observed while using an insulation tester and the uses of an insulation tester. Ordinary ohm meters are not generally designed to measure high value of resistance. An instrument exclusively designed for this purpose is the megometer, commonly known as a mega. There are two types of insulation testers, the magneto generator type and the transistorized type. First, let's see the magneto generator type tester. In this, the testing voltage is produced by a magneto generator when the handle is cranked at a speed of approximately 160 rpm. Whereas, the transistorized type has cells incorporated in it which power the tester. The megometer consists of a small DC generator, a meter calibrated to measure high resistance and a cranking system. The speed at which the armature rotates does not affect the accuracy of the meter. However, it is recommended to rotate the handle at the slip speed to obtain a steady voltage. As megas are designed to measure very high values of resistance, they are used for insulation tests. A 50,000 megohms, 2,500 volts mega is to be used to test high tension equipment, transformers, main supply, etc. For testing power circuits, motors operating on voltages not exceeding 500 volts, a 2,000 megohms, 1,000 volts mega is to be used. For testing house wiring and small motors operating on voltages not exceeding 250 volts, megas of 50 megohms 500 volts can be used. A transistorized mega is an electronic insulation tester. It converts low DC voltage from a dry cell to high DC voltage by using an oscillator, step-up transformer and a converter. The voltage generated at the test terminals is in the order of 250, 500 or 1000 volts depending upon the design. A moving coil meter with a high resistance in series forms, a series ohm meter and has a dial graduated in megohms similar to the conventional mega. Zero adjustment can be made to compensate for the voltage variation as the cell discharges. This can be done by shorting the terminals and setting zero before any measurement. Multi-range insulation testers are also available. This is provided with the selector switch to change the range. Now, the precautions while using a mega. A megometer should never be used on a live circuit. The handle of the megometer should only be rotated in the clockwise direction. Do not touch the terminals of a mega while conducting the test. Always rotate the handle at slip speed. Now let's see. How to test the continuity of a cable using a mega. First, test the mega for its proper function. Keeping the two terminals open, rotate the handle at about 160 rpm and observe that the pointer reads infinity. Next, short the two terminals and rotate the handle and confirm that the pointer reads zero. To test the continuity of the cable, connect the two terminals like this. Rotate the handle at the rated speed steadily and record the reading of the mega. In this section, we saw the functioning of a mega, the different ranges and the procedure for measurement of insulation resistance.